I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Ivan Brown. Ivan is the head of options at NYSE. Ivan, thank you so much for joining me. Pleasure to be here, Judy. Thank you for having me. Ivan, last week was a volatile week in the markets, mm -hmm. but it was also a record-setting week for the options industry. What records were broken? Yeah, I mean, it was an incredibly active week. When you think in terms of multiple-listed equity and ETF options volumes, four trading days last week now rank in the top 10 trading days in terms of volume of all time. And in fact, Friday was the highest record day ever with 42.8 million contracts. And I'm happy to say NYC ARCA options was number one in terms of market share. Okay, to put it into context, mm -hmm. what's volume like on a typical trading day? So a great trading day typically is around 20 million contracts. And if you think, you know, several years back, the kind of historical average is more like 15 million contracts. So these levels of 34 million plus days are certainly not unprecedented, but quite staggering in terms of volume. When you look at sort of the average daily volume for the month of February in its entirety, that was also a record at 26.7 million contracts, which surpasses the prior high of January of this year at 22.5 million. And then when you think in a more global perspective, what was the cumulative volume for the month of February? That was also a record at 508 million contracts versus July, uh, August of 2011 at 502 million contracts. So whether it was a single trading day, ADV for the month or cumulative volume, February crushes all records. What's the reason behind the heightened activity? I mean, certainly volatility, while not the sole indicator, is often a leading indicator of elevated volumes. And so when you think about options as an asset class, inherently they are a risk management tool that allows folks to either hedge existing exposure or seek new exposure to underlying moves and exposure to the marketplace. And at the end of the day, that's, that's what options are built for. January and February were record volume months. Do we think this will continue? We would always love to have a crystal ball, but I think the more fundamental point is that at the end of every day, this is what we battle test our systems for. So when you have record volumes and 2x message traffic, we're here and ready and available to trade. And so I'm incredibly proud of my colleagues here at NYSE and across the broader industry for ensuring resiliency and stability in these elevated volume environments. Ivan Brown, thank yeah. you so much. My pleasure.